European team gold medalist Gareth Hughes and classic Bria Linka produced a heartwarming test in the Grand Prix special here at the European Dressage Championships, with Gareth saying this is one of the best tests this 17-year-old mare has ever done. I caught up with Gareth afterwards to talk about her, to talk about horsemanship and to talk about advice to younger riders. And here's what Gareth had to say. Gareth, you've just completed the special with Classic Brea Linka. How are you feeling? She was brilliant. I mean, it's really like a cauldron in there. You know, you go in there, there's no air. Um, but she was really, really, really focused. She tried her heart out. I think it's one of the best tests she's done. Um, and that's all we can do as a rider. We just go in there, ride the best test we can. We went and stuck. We had one little blip going into the uh, Piaf. Um, out of my right passage um, but you know this is where she just picks it back up but she doesn't take it through to the other movements um, and she was she's just a superstar and what were the real highlights in there for you uh, passage yeah. changes and my counter pirates I like my counter pirates <laughs> talk me through your gold medal as well how special was that yesterday and how would that sit in your career if I retired now I'd be happy I mean, I've, I'm very lucky. I've got a medal of every colour now. Um, but, you know, I mean, when, when you're young and you're wanting to do this, you have ambitions and things. You know, my ambition when I was young to, was to ride dressage. Then my second ambition was to ride in tails. Um, then it was to ride at Grand Prix. Then if I thought I was ever good enough was to ride on a team. Uh, to be part of this team, I mean, that's really something special. You know, it's a, it's a medal winning team. To get on the team is so hard every year. Um, and to come away with the gold, um, at the Europeans, in Germany. I mean, you know, these are things I read about as a kid. You know, you never believed it would happen. So it's just, um, it's a fairy tale. And talking about things that you read about as a kid, what would your advice be to sort of younger people in the sport watching this week? I think the thing is these days with social media, what the social media does, especially on things like Instagram and TikTok, it, it makes it all looks very easy. Um, and I think people forget that actually all the hard work we put in behind the scenes, it's all the stuff that they don't enjoy doing is the most important part. You know, this, this thing that we do at the end is just, just the cherry. You know, it's not even the icing, it's just the cherry. And, and if you want it, I mean, we're very, very lucky in this career, you can do it from, you know, 18, 19, until you can't get on a horse anymore. So your career is long, so if it has, I mean, I didn't even get into dressage until my late 20s. I was riding Western horses and doing things in my early 20s into my 20s. Late 20s, I decided I was gonna do this. Um, you know, and then I sort of slowly went through just sort of working hard, riding anything, learning my craft, watching. Um, so, you know, it's sort of probably not taking so much notice of what happens, you know, with all the sparkly bits on, on social media and just do, just graft. and. If you're good enough and you work hard enough, the cream always rises to the top. And the horsemanship side as well, how important is it for you to have Brilinka here, happy, well, enjoying enjoying herself? Well, I mean, it's a massive part of the sport. I mean, we've had her since she was four. Um, you know, these talented horses can get to Grand Prix at nine or ten. Um, but we're wanting to have longevity in their career. I mean, because it's hard. I mean, running Grand Prix is really difficult. And I mean, I've done quite a few Grand Prix now and it's still difficult. Um, and, you know, so, you know, these horses that come in and two years later, they're gone. And, um, and I think, you know, part of the horsemanship, part of the skill is in the training, the horsemanship at home. Um, you know, I mean, Hussein Bolt doesn't go out every day and just run 100 metres as fast as he can. You know, don't go around the arena just doing the big extended trots. When you train, don't train for the public. Train for yourself. You've got to develop such a, a bond and a strength with your horse, you know, so they're physically strong enough that when you come to situations like this and you ask for every ounce out of them. Yeah, there was a quote by Michael Phelps, <clears throat> and he said, for him, training was like putting deposits in the bank and competing was taking a withdrawal. So the more deposits you put in the bank, the more you can pull out in the arena. Don't forget to head over to the Horse and Hound website for all the latest news from the European Dressage Championships here in Riesenbeck this week. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.